I'm Teacher Mike, and today we are going to learn about some words that you can use to describe old stuff in your home. First, I've got this book, and you can see that the cover of this book is not in very good condition. And when paper or cloth is damaged like this, we can say that it is ripped or torn. The brownish reddish stuff on the lid of this metal can is called rust. And when something has rust on it, we can say that it is rusty. So the lid of this can is rusty. This drawer that I am next to right now has a lot of white stuff on it. And this white stuff is called dust. When there is a lot of dust on something, we say that it is dusty. Right here, I've got an American football. And you can see that it looks pretty old. It's not in good condition, but it still works completely fine. When you have something that just looks old like this because you have used it a lot, you can say that it is worn. You might have a jacket that is very worn. It definitely does not look new, but you keep it because it still works, and maybe it's more comfortable than a newer jacket. This is a ping pong ball. Some people call the game ping pong, some people call the game table tennis. But what I want you to see is that this ball has a dent in it. Where it goes in, this is called a dent. And this is also a dent. Dent is a noun. We can also use the adjective dented. So if something has a dent in it, you can say that it is dented or it has been dented. Up here in the corner above me, we've got a cobweb. The thing that a spider builds is called a spider web. But when you get dust on top of a spider web, it's called a cobweb. This is an old skateboard, and you can see that little pieces have broken off of the wood. They are not here anymore. We can say it that way, or we can say that it is chipped. There, chipped is an adjective, but you can also use it as a verb. For example, I chipped my skateboard. You can also chip a tooth. If something hits your tooth and a little piece comes off, you chipped your tooth. Then, when you look in the mirror and you see your tooth is missing a little piece, you can say, I have a chipped tooth. Right here we've got an old wooden cupboard, and you can see that the paint is coming off. When the paint is coming off of something like this, we say that the paint is peeling. And there were a few more words that I wanted to talk about, but I couldn't actually find any good examples for you today, so I will try to talk about this topic again in the future. Thank you for watching.